Hey guys, so it's time that I unpack my Wally bag. We're pushing a month and it's the last piece of luggage that I've yet to touch, but I think I'm putting it off subconsciously. And it's time, but I figured before I do unpack it, let's give a quick tour of how everything is arranged and how much stuff I actually fit into it. I had no idea how to get my dress to our resort or how to get it on the plane. Every time I asked the travel agent or the bridal shop, even the resort itself, I got a different answer every single time. So hopefully this helps you pack your bag. Um, really quick, I wanna say thank you for watching. I'm making these videos to help couples trying to plan a destination wedding that were as clueless as I was. I had no idea when I got started. I felt really lonely because none of my friends or family had ever done a destination wedding and I didn't know where to go for all of my millions of questions. So I hope this helps you. If it does, leave me a thumbs up or a comment just so I know. Uh, I plan on making more videos like these. I have three that I'm currently editing right now. So if you click subscribe, you'll get notifications when I post those. And thank you. So we'll get started. Like I mentioned, this is a Wally bag. There are other brands. This isn't the only brand. And they're not even all just bags. There are boxes too. Um, but this is the Wally bag. This is the biggest Wally bag that they make. I believe this is the biggest. It's 66 inch and it's a trifold, so it folds in three. This is the back of the bag, so this will be what is outside when it's all folded up. I'm gonna unhook those for a moment. We have two pockets up here. It splits down the middle and it comes the full length. I fit things like my headpiece. I put it in this Tupperware to keep it from bending or breaking during travel. But I fit things like that in these pockets. There's still plenty of room. They're really big pockets. I didn't stuff them as much as I could, and you'll see why when it's all folded up, it gets big, fast, and bulky, and heavy. So I kind of kept it a little minimal as much as I could. So I had about four boxes stacked on top of each other in this pocket with bracelets for my bridesmaids and family members. And that was it for those two pockets. Again, you could fit way more down here. This pocket is huge. This was my favorite pocket. It comes all the way down and it's the full length. Huge pocket. I fit my hanger in there. This is my custom last name hanger for the dress pictures that helps keep its shape. Being that it's the perfect length, it helps keep this from bending, which was nice. I no longer have all of the bridesmaids robes that I gave as gifts on the day of, but I did have six robes packed in here. I packed up four for now just to show you how they were stacked. So there were six stacks like this all together, but there's four in here, just to show you. It fits perfectly, helps keep it shape. And there you go, again, huge pocket. You can fit way more in there. My stuff only comes up to there. Um, but I, again, when it's folded up, this is all going to be stacked together and it's going to be bulky. Okay, this hooks in. And here we are. Let's go to the inside of the bag. Okay. So here we are. There is an identification window here to put your uh, name, address, just in case you give your bag to a bellhop and it goes missing, God forbid, or if you have to check it for any reason, stick it right in there. This little pocket was perfect for things that I didn't want to break, like a little decoration ring tray. Uh, like I said, this is the inside of the bag when it's folded up, so it's protected. Some invitations, more jewelry. has a little mesh pocket here. I stuck things like needles, thread, buttons, clasps, anything in case we had any emergency wardrobe malfunction. Luckily we didn't. Now these pockets are perfect for shoes. 
Again, they come all the way down. We fit three shoes total in these two pockets. So one of these was in each. And then my heels and his boat shoes. So fit perfectly. And then one in each. And this is pretty much about all that will fit in these pockets. Like I said, I didn't stuff all the other ones, but this was just about maximum capacity of these pockets. So three shoes fit perfect. So up here we have the hangers. There's a clasp here and you undo the clasp and there's foam grips in here that hold the hangers from slipping. For When I undo it I always hook the hangers onto the back of the bag to keep them from falling straight down. I wouldn't leave them like that for an extended period of time. It doesn't look too trustworthy, but just for the sake of moving things in and out, it's perfect. Um, and like you said, oh, there's a clasp. Always put your finger, your hand, behind the zipper as you're undoing it so that you don't accidentally hook anything, cause any damage. Like I said, I haven't unpacked this bag yet, so everything has gotten pretty wrinkly at this point. But it was not wrinkly when we arrived in Mexico. Um, I had his outfit pressed and my dress was pressed and steamed before we left and we packed it as is and when we got to Mexico we didn't need any additional steaming services. It was perfect. So his pants and his shirt. You have to use wire hangers. They have to be the thinner hangers. Trust me, the thick tube plastic hangers are just way too bulky. You will not be able to fit as much stuff in here with those. I would say probably one of those hangers would fit in here. Um, if I remember correctly, I think the Wally website said this bag fits up to six hangers or so, but they have to be the thin wire hangers. So definitely a must. My rehearsal dinner outfit, which was two pieces. And then, of course, the best part, the dress. And yes, my dress is still in there. Again, fingers behind. She's in there. My dress is a very thin dress. There's no tulle. There are three layers, but they're very light. Um, so it wasn't bulky in this bag to begin with. This garment bag that my dress came in is the exact length of this Wally bag. So I didn't need to fold up the bottom. Nothing had to get crinkled. It fit perfectly. I, my train was pretty big, and I did bustle that in this bag before I stuck it in. And it fits perfectly. The length of my dress comes to exactly where the white bag ends and where the wally bag ends. So that helped to prevent any wrinkling. Um, these arms, I'll show you as I hook it all together, but if you do have a dress with a lot of tulle or a ball gown that's bulkier, these arms help to compress it so that it fits in here a little bit better. You may not be able to fit more outfits in it. You may be, be able to just stick your gown in and that's it, but it's still doable. Some brides say they fit in even more than this. They fit in dresses that they plan to wear all week. Again, it gets bulky and heavy, and I didn't want to carry more around than I already was, so I kept it to three outfits. Again, I hook them onto the back of the bag. And they're all in, and you want to make sure they're laying flat so that they fit nicely and that it's not wrinkled when you get there. If it's all crinkled together, it's going to make it bulkier. Here we are. So, you line the hangers up pretty much in a row. You don't want to stack them on top of each other. And just clasp. That's it. Now, I'll show you the arms. They have a clasp on either side. clip them in, and then you pull it tight, and that's what compresses your dress. Here we go. You see here? Clip it in, pull it tight, holds everything down. Perfect. 
Again, put your fingers behind the zipper before you zip it up so that you don't have to zip up your clothes. And there we are. And now I will show you how to fold it up. So I laid the Wally bag flat on the floor to show you how I folded it up. It folds in three, like I said. One. And here we are. You want to press a little bit of the air out. It does hold some air. It has clips on either side. Clip. And you pull it tight. Again, reduces the size. Come on on this side. Hold it tight. And then two on the top. And there we are. And that's it. It's all folded up. Perfect. You have the two handles on the top and the shoulder strap. So again, this is the Wally bag all folded up. Um, we flew American Airlines and garment bags are allowed as carry-on as, as long as they're under 50 inches or so. So unfolded, this bag would not be carry-on regulation size. My dress gown bag that came in came from the store with would not be a regulation size. But folded up, it's definitely under 50 inches, so we didn't have any problems carrying it on. It did count as my carry-on item. I had a smaller tote bag as my personal item, so this would count for one carry-on. I asked the resort, I asked the travel agent, I asked the bridal shop, how do I, where would I put this when I get on the plane? Everyone gave me a different answer, and there's really no straightforward answer when it comes to that question. I hear brides say that they were able to hang it in the closet. Um, it seems like it just kind of depends on the day, who who your stewardesses are, what kind of plane it is, if they have the capability to even hang it. I asked them when we checked in, is there anywhere to hang my bag? And I was really nervous about having to put it in the overhead compartment. I'm like, please, please, please have someone hang the bag. I asked several different people, and the answer was always no. Unfortunately, I had to put it in an overhead bin, fold it up like this. Finally, when I did get on the plane and I asked them where do they suggest I put the bag, they suggested that I put it in an overhead bin by itself and then close the bin so that no one else will put anything up there with it. So that's what I did. I did have the person behind me open that bin back up even though I had closed it and started putting his huge roll and carry on next to it and after pleading like please it's my wedding dress please they agreed to not put their luggage there and they put it in the next one and kept it closed so it did have the entire compartment by itself for the whole trip which gave me some peace of mind if it was a full flight and there were no other and there was no other uh overhead bin storage area I would have had to suck it up and put another piece of carry-on up there with it, but luckily I didn't have to. On the way home, it was a full flight. There was other carry-on stuff up there with it, but at that point I'm like, oh, I already got through the scary part of getting it there, so that's fine. Um, When I got to the resort with the bag, like I said, I never let this bag out of my sight, even with the bellhops. I just didn't trust it. Our, actually, we had so much luggage that it had to get split up into two separate transportation vehicles, and even then, I made sure this bag made it on <laughs> my transportation vehicle. Um, immediately, the very first thing I did was take it out of this bag and hang it in the closet, still in that white garment bag that's in here. And I took a peek at it, and there was zero wrinkles. It did not need any touch-ups. Um, my package with my resort did include steaming of my garments and his wedding garments. But we ended up refusing it because we, we didn't need it. It still looked perfect. And I just figured, I mean, why even risk it if it doesn't need it? So there you go. That's my Wally bag tour. I hope this helps you. If it does, like I said, please give me a thumbs up so that I know 
comment anything that I missed or that you think you have any other questions about that I can address. And thank you for watching.